Now on BBC One, it's time for the news wherever you are. Goodbye. Good evening. While traffic has eased somewhat today, around 500 lorries remain parked on the M20 as part of Operation Brock. That's according to the Kent Resilience Forum. P&O ferries have announced there will be no services between Dover and Calais until Good Friday at the earliest. Coastban, the M20, remains closed for local traffic where uh, lorry drivers have been waiting for hours trying to reach the port. Sarah Smith has the latest. After thousands of lorries being on the M20, today's backlog of just 500 feels like progress, but no one's relaxing yet. Come the new week, and new queues are expected. Ferry capacity is still down as P&O remains unable to sail. In the village of Lim between Ashford and Folkestone, they've had lorries thundering through their narrow streets. Today they can breathe again, but know the reprieve is probably only temporary. People were literally stuck in traffic for an hour, an hour and a half, just to try and get from the bottom of this road to the motorway. Um, and a lot of people were affected by that. They have kids to get places, you know, they have appointments at hospitals and stuff. Just down the road from Lim, lorry drivers from around Europe wait at this rest park, unsure when they'll get home. This Turkish driver isn't just worried about the uncomfortable conditions, stuck for hours on the M20 but the fact he may get stopped by police when he finally crosses the channel. He told us he's been forced to go over his legal hours, unable to get off the motorway. His tachograph, which records his journey, shows he'd been on the road for 20 hours without a proper break. Also in Lim is this haulage firm. Their drivers have been directed to the back of the Brock queue when they just need to get back to base. When they are crossing the channel, they've had the same long waits as everyone else. It does have an impact on business, and obviously these drivers and vehicles cost a great deal of money every day to run. Um, on top of that, we've obviously got the increase of fuel, the increase of salaries. You know, where, where, where's this going? Where's it going to stop? No one is expecting an easy Easter. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Lynn.